Hey, everybody. Welcome to Technically Unraveled. I'm Kristen Fehrenbach, the Senior Director of Microsoft Go to Market here at PAX 8. Thanks for tuning in again with us. We have a lot of content to cover today, but I want to make sure that you're liking, sharing, subscribing, and thanks so much for being here. So let's get started with those updates. There's a few of them today. Hey, Elliot, we're going to get to you in just a minute. Anything? All right. We are going to start out with some updates. So we've got GDAP transition coming. So this is not relevant to the America's team quite yet. There are five countries that are going to start going live here soon this next Monday. Want to make sure that we're calling those out. We've got Malaysia, Ireland, Chile, Croatia, and Costa Rica. So what this means when I say that we are going to start this transition is we are going to have Microsoft is going to automatically start pushing people to GDAP from DAP. And then in 30 days from that, DAP will fall off. Now, want to make sure that you as partners, you're going in if you're in these countries and moving them over yourselves, if that's what you would like to do, want to make sure that you have that full control. But Microsoft will be starting with these five countries this next Monday. Super, super important. Next, I want to talk a little bit about the deal acceleration team. So a lot of partners, you might have gotten an email from us today. I want to make sure we're going through this because we have just expanded the amount of resources that you as partners have through PAX 8. Now, Microsoft Direct has a bucket of over 250 sellers that specialize in Azure. And that's just from having that initial conversation. That's from deep engineering, that is the whole spectrum and everywhere in between. Now, what you can do as partners is you can register your lead directly with Microsoft. Now, I think you're gonna get a little weird on me here, so hold on. This team only gets paid if it's transacted through CSP. So there's no worry that it's gonna go direct, there's none of that. So I wanna just assure you there, but you can register this directly with Microsoft and these sellers, they're here to help you close these deals. So I, I think it's a win-win here. I know our IST team, like I, Steven Slattery's team, man, they're absolute rock stars. These are just additional resources on top of that. So want to make sure that that is known to you. Let your account team know if that's something you're interested in. Now we've got some upcoming Dynamics events that we are going to be at. And I want to make sure that you know that our PAX 8 teams are going to be there. So first up, we got Dynamics Minds. You're gonna have our team out from EMEA. You're gonna have Matt Batterby there. He's actually one of the hosts. I tried to ask him to play the guitar as the opening segment. He said no, so you know I'm sure he's gonna come up with something awesome. Really excited that he's out there at that event. Then we also have Dynamics Con, Miss Haley Marshall. We've got a lot of our team going out to Dynamics Con. Make sure you get that selfie with them, post them on LinkedIn. I love to see those. I'm not going to be at either event, so I'm just going to be here having FOMO throughout the whole week. Make sure you get those posts in with them. All right, Microsoft Build, May 23rd through 25th. Lots of great speakers coming. You've got the CEO of Microsoft, Sadia. He's going to be going. You've got the co-founder of OpenAI, Please make sure you register. It is going to be a Microsoft Direct event. Want to make sure you're aware of that. It's not through PAX 8, but I know a lot of us are going to be attending as well because Microsoft Build is going to be a really great thing to make sure that you're in the loop. Now, Azure Migrations. I told you I had a lot of updates today, okay? So Azure Migrations, if you have something pending in pipeline, you can maybe use our professional services as support make sure you're reaching out to your account team. We have some funding that's actually available out to partners and it's ready to be utilized by you. So if you maybe on the fence or you've got a customer, let's at least have that conversation because if we're gonna help you pay for it and get that moved over, I'd love to see that happening. We are winding down Microsoft's fiscal year. So I think it would be a great time to get engaged. Lastly, we've got Microsoft 365 SMB Master's Program starts at the end of May. Also Microsoft Direct. 
There's going to be a ton of interest in this event. I know I'm really excited about this. I know you've met Britain on previous events. So I want to make sure that you are attending this one. I'm registered for all three days. Master's program is going to have a lot of content. All right. I just need to take a breath. I feel like that was a lot. Elliot, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I am good. I saw your little sneak in earlier. I don't know. Did you did you push some of the buttons in the background? You're I like, made no, some. Here early. Yeah, I made some diva demands that I must be on screen as much as possible this time around. So Excellent. I got as Excellent. much time as possible in. Yeah, I got you. Green Skittles must be on camera first and foremost. How did I you like know it. about the okay. green Skittles? I actually just came back from the UK, and in the UK we have green Starburst, and you don't have those here, and they're amazing. Well, you didn't even bring them. So, Elliot, you've been on the show a couple of times. <laughs> Tell us what you do here at PAX 8 before we dive in. Yeah, so I'm Elliot Chandler. I'm the global director for our Azure go-to-market business. So all things Azure, every single region. That's me. All right. So all things Azure. I mean, I saw you in that acronym video earlier, so we're going to – we'll touch back on that. <laughs> I'm going to fight. I will fight to my last breath on this. I did really well, and I got – bullied in the editing room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. No, thanks for taking part of that. I mean, goodness, we have a ton of fun here. But what I will say yeah. is Microsoft has a lot of content, right? So oh, I want to yeah. go through that today because you've got to stay up to date. We have to stay up to date. And I mean, if you're global, all things Azure, I, I feel like that's not a small thing to try to make sure that what's going on around no. the world, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's tough, right? And especially for our partners who are across every single solution stack that, that Microsoft have. And it's, uh, it's a topic we hear a lot, even from Microsoft, right? Like a lot of the time we'll take an update to our Microsoft reps and say, hey, have you heard about this? Can you give me some update? And it's the first time they're hearing about it from us, right? It happened to me while I was at Microsoft and I'd have partners bring me new pieces of information that were completely fresh to my eyes. So there's a there's a sea of information out there that we need to try and stay on top of. So it can get quite difficult, Agreed. which is why we're here today. That right? happened to me at Microsoft too. And I would be like, oh, you heard about that? Weird. Hold on. Let me. So, I mean, Elliot, yeah. Where do we start? Because I feel like this is going to be that thousand layer onion. We got, what, a little over 20 minutes. So let's get rolling yeah. through it. Yeah, I think that's. I think this is the perfect kind of uh, engine to frame this in, right? So if we can go through all these tools in 20 minutes, it should be a decent example of how we can stay on top of stuff. So that's kind of how we wanted to, to kind of go about this. So we're going to break this up into kind of uh, four main sections, right? So the general purpose resources, and then we're going to go okay. into Azure. Uh, dynamics and model work as well. So um, first and foremost, the, the number one place I'd say that we should be directing people to is the partner center announcement section. So um, partner center is your one stop shop for everything, right? So when we start talking about uh, partner center announcements, this is going to be all things to do with the partner ecosystem. So this isn't necessarily uh, a, any solution based update. So this is going to be things like updates to the API, updates to pricing, updates to the partner center portal itself, and all things related to keeping your partner business running. So kind of important, right? So it's not necessarily the technology, it's not the solution stack, but it's stuff that you need to know on a daily basis that will impact you and your customers. So it's absolutely the first place that I recommend that you keep tapped up. And we've got all of the yep. links below, right? So we want to make sure that we are uh, constantly checking this one location for all the partner center level updates. So we're all good. Well, I know um, Ashley Moretti lives in this one because of GDAP. Mm -hmm. You've got all kinds of stuff that's happening with NCE. I feel like the acronyms are just going to keep piling up because yep. that poor girl gets all of those programs. But this is where she's getting yes. them, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every single program change, every single program announcement should be in here. And this is going to be probably one of the first places that you'll see it. So often, even when I was at Microsoft, we get something land and it would already be in partner center. So this is the place where yep. you should stay on top of for all things program. And I do feel so sorry for Ashley. I feel like I need to give her a hug every time we get an update from her because there's so many changes so often. So this is absolutely yes. the place to be for those updates. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So we're starting out with partner center first and foremost. Yep. What do we go to next? 
Next is uh, training. So we use the Microsoft Hot Sheets for all things training. So um, we've got the link to the June Hot Sheet ready for everyone. Um, so this is all things training, the most like kind of top of mind training sections that Microsoft offer. So this is cross cloud, cross solution. So they'll give you the updates in terms of um, what the session is, who the uh, recommended audience is, and the dates as well. So um, if you want to make sure that you and your team are staying up to date, this is the place to do it in terms of enablement. Right. And I think one of the most important pieces on this site is the recommended roles. So who's that audience? Is it technical? Is it marketing? Is it sellers? This kind of stuff really helps you kind of segment up who should be taking what content. And then you can push that out to everyone at your partner organization. And then they stay up to date with pretty much all of the updates coming from Microsoft. Awesome. And so this is Microsoft Direct Training. I just want to be certain because I know we've got Academy. Yes. So just the Microsoft yeah. version, right? Exactly. So uh, I would kind of almost use this as your jumping off point, right? So go to the go to the hot sheet and we'll find out what are Microsoft pushing. This will help give you an idea okay. of what's top of mind for them. And then we can dig into the rest of the training resources available. So Academy is one of those great kind of double click locations to say, okay, Microsoft are pushing out, let's say, lots of updates on on AI and how we can use those with an SMB and then moving over to Academy to kind of explore the rest of those resources. So this is really almost as well as a great check to go and send people to training. It's sure. a great uh, way to get an understanding of where Microsoft are heading and what's top of mind for them and what they want to go and push. So it kind of really is that double whammy resource for me. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so we've covered some announcements. We've covered some training. And look at you. You're not even just focused on Azure. This is this personal growth, Oh, Elliot. you wait. Wait for the next section, Kristen. It's all, all right. things oh. Azure, and I'm excited about of it. Of course it is. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, so um, the, so those are kind of the the all up resources, and then we go into kind of the solution specific stuff, right? So a lot of people have teams focused on a particular solution area, so keeping those teams up to date is is really important. Um, and Azure is my cloud, and uh, I will not be shy in telling you it's a complicated one. It's it's a bit of a beast um, in terms of the solutions that are available. There are thousands and thousands of SKUs and services available, all bundled up under the title Azure, and it can be really really difficult to kind of stay on top of it all. So the number one question I get asked for Azure services is, is this service available? Where is it available? And when is it available? Yep. Right. So where I tend to go is to the Azure heat maps. So Azure charts yep. is what we're, um, what we're calling it now. So Azure charts are fantastic. So this, what you're seeing here is the time board within Azure charts. This will tell you when services are coming to your region. So on the screenshot we have on screen now, you'll see you can select the region in the top right. So you can select the region that you're deploying in, and you can see what services are on the roadmap to be launched in that region. So whenever a partner, even while I was at Microsoft, would come to me and say, when is this available for me in my region? This is where I'd send them. So if you're an Azure-focused resource or an Azure-focused partner and you want to stay on top of what's coming in areas that you have customers, this time board is a really, really great place for you to, to kind of go and look for that kind of future planning piece, right? So it uh, okay. answers a lot of those questions. Because I'm sure you've had people come to you, right, and ask that question of, when's this thing available? And you have to scramble oh around gosh. searching the Microsoft Docs. Yeah. It's, and it's I'm like, hold time, on. Right? Is, it in, is it in private preview? Is it public preview? Is it, is it this? Mm -hmm. Is it developing? Is it on the roadmap? So, I mean, I, I think especially because we always get really excited when we go in and we're like thumbs up in like, oh, we want this new feature. We want this new feature. And then yep. when you actually see it on the time board, it's, it's happening. So it's exciting. Yes. Yeah. And they try and give it as accurately as they can. So it will be split up into the quarters. But if they can't give an exact quarter, they'll split it into the half as well. So this is coming in, in H2, um, that kind of stuff. So it's really good for that okay. future roadmap stuff. Um, and you make a really awesome. good point around, is this in private preview generally available or on that roadmap, right? So this next piece is still sure. within the Azure chart site. So we'll give you the link to the general Azure chart site. But this next piece runs through what is available in your region right now. So awesome. this graphic is awesome. We've just thrown this up on screen. This is um, kind of the bird's eye view of one particular region. So you can change that region if you want to. That drop down is in the top left. Choose whichever region you'd like, it will change the list. But you can see the breakdown of all services. Is they break them down into each individual technology stack. So you'll see things like AI and you'll see things like IoT, you'll see things like migration, um, and you get all of the updates. And these things you can click into and get more detail, but we'll stay on this page for now. Um, everything highlighted in a white box that is generally available and it's non geographical, which means it's available in every single region. Where they don't have that white box, that means it is generally available specifically in this region. It could be others as well, but it just means it's not 
uh, non-geographical. It's not absolutely everywhere. Um, okay, and then so you that, see that's some that super helpful, out. though, especially when, you know, if you're working in multiple regions, right, you're able to say, hey, you know what, yes. I know this is available everywhere, that little white box, that's perfect. Exactly. And one thing to really that catches a lot of people out is it's not even grouped by country, right? So you have like central US, you have West and things like that. So even in Europe, right, you have West Europe and you have like uh, UK South and UK West. Sometimes services are available in some and not in others. So where you have customers who are in multiple regions within Azure and you want to make sure those services are available across regions within the same country, this is a great place to go and check that. So um, it, it can catch people out. So it's always good to just kind of be aware of it as well. Excellent, um, excellent. In this resource, you'll also see stuff that's like on the roadmap too. So see bottom left, we've okay. got Project Bonsai. It's slightly grayed out. That means it's in preview. So um, where there's services that are coming to your region that are in preview that are not quite available yet, you'll be able to see that on this uh, on this map too. So uh, Azure Heat Maps Got it. So it'll just be grayed out. Go. And you're like, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? I know it's coming. It's officially on this map, yep. but it's just not quite there yet. So that's that little yes. gray. Perfect. Okay. Seems easy. Are you going to make me talk about other clouds now? Uh, you know, I'm not going to make you, but I will <laughs> say that Matt Batterby and Britain are going to thoroughly enjoy you talking about other clouds, Elliot. Yeah, I know. I know. Matt did, hey, Matt did me a favor and was talking about Adre. He mentioned it when he was on, so he I'll did. do him a favor now. I can see Britain right. in the comments too, so I can't, I can't leave her. Britain is here. Either, so we'll, she, I know. Yeah. She is here. So, okay. So let's talk through Dynamics first. Cool. So Dynamics is actually, I quite like this, less complicated, which is nice for me because Dynamics scares me. Um, so Dynamics has a really <laughs> great partner hub. So the partner hub for Dynamics is, is awesome. So this is kind of like a one-stop shop for all things Dynamics. So you'll see here that we've got the, the site up and it kind of goes through all the top level updates, everything that is at all to do with dynamics is going to be on this page and what's really good is they actually go that one level deeper as well so um matt's favorite location on this site that he uh tells me about daily he he looks it up before he goes to bed every single night is solution plays so if you go into solution plays at the top you can select any of the solutions that you're kind of building for your customers or interested in and it gives you a ton of resources so um, if we can go into any one of these um solution plays and if we scroll down onto them you'll see a bunch of resources that kind of help you go through how to build in this solution. So this will be like uh, two, two customer pitch decks. This will be um, all of the information behind it, any trainings that you have for your customers. It'll be marketing content, absolutely everything you could possibly need for that solution area in one place. So it's pretty good. When it comes to, to me being awesome. scared of dynamics, yeah, this makes me less scared. This is the stuff that makes me less scared and I love it. So all of the Especially resources you can need in one place. Dynamics and Azure, those are the ones that can get a little complicated a little mm -hmm. quickly, right? So, I mean, being right, able exactly. to have that one spot, yes, that's excellent. Okay, so yeah. anything Dynamics, you're saying that this Dynamics Partner Hub is going to be the best place partner for hub all things. Color. Yeah, and if it doesn't, right. call Matt. He's got like a hotline. It's like a bat signal you shine into the sky, but it's the Dynamics logo. He'll come running. Oh. He is always Perfect. ready for Dynamics questions. Yeah, exactly. I like it. A bat signal in yeah. the sky. He runs in. A mat Done. signal. Okay. Oh. A mat signal. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Uh, Britain says yeah. she is watching. So don't disappoint, okay. Elliot. What's next? All right. I'm going to drop some major knowledge right now. So you know how we said Azure is complicated and Dynamics is complicated? Yeah, they're so all complicated. Is modern it's Microsoft. Oh, come on. Yeah. Give me one. No. So this is it. No, right. Everyone says modern workplace is the easy cloud. It's not. I'm telling you this right now. It, it's amazing and I love it, but it can be just as layered. So okay. the best thing that I've seen for modern workplace is the SKU matrix. This is okay. unbelievable. So could you confidently tell me right now what's in every single SKU in modern workplace? Uh, I couldn't on, on on a recording or off of recording. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of giving me my answer. Right, it's tough, okay. right? So um, yes. this skew matrix honestly will save your life multiple times. Okay. So lots of times customers will come to you with a requirement for like one particular uh, service, right? And it's usually not nestled into like one skew and it's really obscure and you don't know where it kind of overlaps. So um, if we go into like M365 Business, for example, so here's the map of all of the SKUs, but M365 Business is the one that we're going to use today. This breaks down all of the business SKUs, basic, standard, premium, um, and it tells you what's available in each one. 
So um, I think we can zoom in on uh, between uh, the standard and premium. So this, you can see that there's some brighter colored services within the breakdown here. These are the ones that are new if you upgrade to that SKU. So you can see when you go Excellent. up to um, standard, what's new. You can see when you go up to premium, you get all of the Defender suite, you get much more in the Office suite as well. So this really helps just, just demystify all of the unknowns about what comes in what licensing. And if a customer says, hey, I need this particular feature, you can this to go, use this to go and like dig and, and find out what exactly it is you need to license them with. Wow. So, I mean, we talk a lot about business premium. So I think that this yeah. is the perfect thing because look, we just had Kalechi on. We were talking about Purview. We were talking about a lot of things that were deep. And I was like, all right, what's yep. in business premium? You got to tell me. And he was like, okay, well, right. so, I mean, just being able to go to one singular source and being able to see like what's yes. included from one to the other. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And I can see Britain so, excited I mean, too. I can see three cheers for maps in the comments too. She's oh, loving it. <laughs> three cheers. I got you, I like it. Okay. You did her justice. <laughs> you did her justice today. I like it. Elliot, yes. it's still a lot. Like individual it clouds, is. you got individual places. We've got announcements. We've got a hub. We've got Azure galore. Yep. Right. So what if I just say, you know what, Elliot? Nope. It's just too much. I don't want it. Someone else take the wheel, right? Yes. Yeah. So we've kind of got you covered there too, right? So Microsoft information is an absolute fire hose. That's kind of why we named the session this, right? So we've tried to kind of distill that down into these resources. But if that is still too much, we've kind of got you covered anyway. So at PAX 8, we do the monthly Microsoft update. So I think we're going to throw up the, the link to um, our site as well. So this will take you through all things Microsoft. The link will be in the description, but we'll show you now. So this is our Microsoft page. That graphic is amazing, by the way, and I absolutely love it. Um, but if you, if you head over to our Microsoft site, you can scroll through it. There'll be a section of our events near the bottom, which you'll see coming into frame right about now. And that is all the things that we're running. One event in particular that you should draw your attention to is our monthly update. So you'll see the next one is actually July, and that's because we have our Beyond event coming up in June, so we're not doing a monthly update there. So you should be at Beyond. Um, and if, uh, if you want to wait till July when our next update is, this is where we give you all of the top updates across every single solution, program updates, everything that you should be aware of from a Microsoft perspective. So we've kind of got all of the resources we ran through today where you can go and look for what's relevant to you. But then we have this Microsoft monthly update where we will bring you all of the important information without you needing to lift a finger. Just sign up for this, roll on through. It's a chunky update. We'll take you through absolutely everything um, and all of the things that are going to be impacting you, your customers, your awesome. partner business, all things Microsoft. All things it's a lot, Microsoft. Right? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. And I mean, I really, I've really enjoyed the monthly updates because I mean, one, partners are asking questions, they're engaged, we're having yep. actual conversations. And I mean, if it's something in the chat, every one of these presenters they know, they see me kind of like pop on camera, all nice and quiet. And all of a sudden everybody's <laughs> like, okay, there's questions. So I like the yep. engagement that happens in these. Yeah, sometimes you just need a human, right? I think that's the big thing. A lot of these updates and resources are great, but the terminology they use is odd. Apparently, we talked about acronyms at the beginning of this call, and I will still fight that fight that I know them, but <laughs> they're tough, right? And sometimes you just they need are. a human to explain to you, hey, this is what it is. This is what the update means. This is how it impacts you, and this is how we can help. So I think adding that human touch to the updates, understanding that where there are 100%. some uh, kind of complicated layers, we've gone and had that conversation with Microsoft. We understand it. We'll break it down and make it kind of a bit more consumable. So that was kind of the intent behind sure. that monthly call. Well, I also know that in these calls, right, a lot of times partners will bring maybe some issues that they're facing and they're saying, yep. hey, you know what, I, I might be struggling in this. I, this one's relevant and it's recent. So MCPP yep. maybe isn't as friendly for super, super small businesses servicing <laughs> yep. true SMB customers, right? But having just the direct feedback from partners that we can gather, and as you said, we talked to Microsoft, giving it directly to them, like, hey, this is the feedback that we've received. Yep. It's invaluable, right? And I love to exactly. make it so that way, hey, you know what? At the same time, we're building additional content with an academy to help service partners through those needs as well. Yeah, exactly. It's it. There's so much information out there that just having a reliable source that you can go to, you can kind of ask the questions that you need to ask, get the information you need, and then go 
get back to doing business, right? Because trying to stay up to date on all things Microsoft can just be a full-time job in itself, right? And most of our partners have a business to run. Customers don't know what's changing and impacting them. So that, that's why we're here, right? We have people where it is their full-time job to understand these updates and kind of make them 100%. So, yeah. Like, I, I laugh because it always comes up of, hey, what's new in Microsoft? And I do these updates every single week. Yeah. And I don't repeat that many of them. Like they just kind of continue coming because poor Ashley, I'm going to say it again. Like I just think yep. I'm like updates for this week and she lists them out. So sometimes you see me reading because she's like, hey, these five countries, this date at this time on. Yeah. So I get it. So no, I mean, yeah. Elliot, you said beyond you're going to be there. I did. I will be there. I will be ready to answer all questions. I'll be the Azure guy. I'll even remember to rehearse my acronyms before the event. I will do everything I can to remember them. Okay. So then you can He's stop bringing it up them. when I'm on your live stream in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, it sounds like we're going to have a follow up yep. to the acronym video, which I'm thoroughly oh, no. excited about. It's going to be a sequel. Okay. I'll prepare myself. Yes. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Elliot. I know it's a lot of content. I know that we go through this a lot. And I mean, we've got a pretty decent sized Microsoft team here at PAX 8 that, you know, we work really hard to make sure that we get this out to partners. So I want to say thank you for joining and making sure that you're bringing all of this to us today. Thank you so much for having me. It was a lot of fun. All right. Until next time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Like I said, it, it feel like you're drinking through Vios all the time. It's all the content, but I hope that these couple of different links, they make it a little bit easier. So if we can go through all of this in just a little shy of 30 minutes, I'm hoping that you can go through, bookmark these, make it a little bit easier on yourself. Now, next week, we are going to be taking a short break. I have a vacation. I will be in Mexico. I'll come back all tan. Then we're going to talk to Ryan Rowan. We're going to talk to the VP of sales of the Americas. Super excited to get him on. He's going to bring a ton of valuable content that you don't want to miss. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you there. Bye, everybody.